trials is not like other types of riding which emphasise speed. It's about precision, balance, traction and incredibly fine control over the throttle, clutch and steering. Mind you, that's not to say it's always a slow sport. The rules are pretty basic. Try to keep your feet on the pegs, don't stall, and stay inside the tapes. Sounds easy? Well, it can be at the lower grades, but the challenges keep building up if you work up through the grades until you hit the expert level, where often you can't even walk or climb up the places these guys ride. Unlike Europe and the UK, there aren't many trials clubs in Australia and many other countries, so a lot of people think it must be a difficult sport to get into. But the people in trials clubs are extremely welcoming and bend over backwards to help a new member get into the sport. They will often help you find a bike, set it up, teach you the basics and make sure you have the time of your life. It's an incredibly cheap sport. An older but still modern style trials bike might only set you back $3,000 or so and they are typically low maintenance. Tyres, chains and sprockets can last for years and most expenses will be related to things you break, not wear out. You'll be pushing to use more than 4 litres of fuel in a day's riding and there's very little specialist riding gear beyond a helmet and a pair of trials boots. Trials is the most family oriented form of motorcycling with something for all ages and skill levels. And guys had better be prepared to be regularly beaten by the girls with their innate sense of balance. Sometimes there'll be three generations of family members competing, with competitors as young as five and going all the way into their 70s. And the mums aren't just helping out as club officials, but are often riding themselves. The stop-start nature of the riding makes it an incredibly social form of riding too and the competitions are very laid-back, friendly affairs. The warmth and community feel of a trials club has to be experienced to be believed. If you want your kids to ride, then trials riding will not only make them safer riders but also provide them with the skills for becoming future champions in any type of motorcycling sport. Trials is the safest form of motorbike competition. There are certainly plenty of offs if riders are challenging themselves, but typically injuries are almost always just bruises and scrapes. I love trials because of the injuries! <laughs> and trials will transform the way you ride motorbikes in general. The emphasis on balance and precise control of the bike pays dividends for any type of riding, but especially if you ride dirt bikes. It's no wonder the most talented extreme enduro riders in the world are almost always former trials riders. Most people only get into a different form of motorbike riding because they have mates who are into it. But if you don't know anyone into trials, just contact the local trials club and ask if you can go to their next meeting. Check it out for yourself. We have to warn you though, it's incredibly addictive and while it's easy to get into trials riding, it's extremely hard to get out. You'll soon find out why it becomes a lifelong passion and why many keep riding until they're ready for a wheelchair in the nursing home. You've only got the one life to live so we reckon do yourself a favour. You'll have absolutely no regrets if you spend a significant chunk of your life riding a trials bike.